We generally model PECs on the edges of FDTD grids. In order to model the physics of a PEC, we need to model electric field components that are parallel to the PEC along the edge of the grid so that we can set these electric fields equal to zero at the surface of the PEC. Let's draw an XY diagram of one plane of field components. So I'm going to draw, this is the X direction, here's the Y direction, and here is the Z direction. And we're going to draw an HC field and EX and EY. So these are three of our six field components. We can see from this diagram that if we start the grid in the Y direction on an EX component, like this one right here, we'll be able to model a PEC on that, right, on that side. We can just set this equal to zero. Then one half of a grid cell above the screen in the positive Z direction. In red, I'll draw the three components that are on that plane. So we have EZ, H, Y, and H, X. Now we can see from this diagram that if we start the grid in the Y direction on both EX and EZs, then we'll be able to model a PEC on that edge of the grid. So this would also be equal to zero. And this would be our PEC edge of the grid. Since we want to start and end the grid in the Y direction on EX and EZ components, we will want to choose to start and end the grid in the Y direction on a plane of HY, EX, and EZ components, meaning those field components will be of size J max in the Y direction. So EX, EZ, and HY, we can define those in MATLAB, initialize them to zero. Their size in the I and the K direction are going to be the same as what we had in two-dimensional two code, in our two-dimensional code. So this I max and this K max minus one is the same as what we already have. And now I'm just going to put J max right in the middle here. So they'll all be of size J max in the Y direction. And then the other three components will be of size J, J max minus one in the J direction. So I max is the same before. This is K max, same as what we had before. All right, and then all of these are J max minus one in the Y direction. Spend a moment and write a three-dimensional update equation for just the easy component of the grid.